Hey friends, hey family, cool and stops being venidos. It's your girl back with another video. Yes, we're back with another video. In today's video, it is fall essential time, y'all. You've seen the videos. Well, in today's video, I want to share with you guys what I am loving for the fall. You've been seeing fall favorites, fall essentials here on YouTube, and I wanted to jump in and give my two cents. So let's hop right in. The first thing we're going to talk about are hair products. Now, I'm going to talk about some things for hair, natural hair, straight hair, relaxed hair. I'm going to show you guys some things. So the first thing is get a good deep conditioner. I really have been loving this Shea Moisture one. Now, it does not top. I feel like it does a different purpose than my hydration one from the high porosity one. Love that one. Love the Manuka Honey and Mephora oil one as well. This is the rehydration treatment mask. Now this has coconut milk and it says, I don't even know how to say this other word, so I'm not going to butcher it, but it has 100% virgin coconut oil. If you are a coconut oil, if you're like, girl, I don't need protein. I talked about in a favorites video and also in a haul report, the Myel Organics hydration mask. If you're protein free, you definitely want to use that one. And if you love protein or coconut oil, you can use this one. That one is for protein free, but I wanted to bring you guys something uh, when it comes to both of those. And I will leave a link over here if you guys want to check that video out. I just don't have the conditioner. Y'all know I'm ranking my products right now. And so I don't want to change anything that I'm doing right now. But I really do like this one for the fall and winter. It's a bit more thick. You're going to see a trend in this um, video that a lot of my products tend to start to go thicker in terms of the viscosity of them and the texture. This one is a thicker deep conditioner, but it gives a ton of hydration. As you can tell, I'm halfway through it. And um, yeah, I really do enjoy that. Let's talk about a product that I've been loving for my straight hair. This is the Chi Smart Silk Volumizing Hairspray Firm Hold. I used it on my hair today after I wand my hair. I spray it and let it cool off. Then I start to separate the curls. I really do like this because it's it has silk and rice proteins and it's paraben free. And I really do like this hairspray. I feel like it gives me a nice firm hold and I still have some flexibility. It's not crunchy. It, I still have some flexibility with my hair and after I brush it out, I can restyle my hair a different way. Sometimes hairsprays, it leaves like too much of a product buildup that you feel like whatever your hair is set is set. This one is very flexible. I really like it. Another one that I like is a Pantene firm hold and I actually have it over there, but I have it in travel size. Pantene has a really good one. If I can find that one I'll link it down below this one is more on the high end side she costs a little bit more but you can find it at Marshall's and at TJ Maxx so check those places out if you want to see those another item that I have been loving is I've been loving the Whey hair oil I use that for my straight hair but when it comes to curly I have been like doing some mixes I use avocado oil so you can just get 100% avocado oil this one came in a spritz oil because you actually cook with this but I don't cook with it I like you know I use it for my hair and the Sephora hemp um, this is the hemp purifying oil. I've been using this on my face and my body. I really enjoy it, but I love mixing it. If you notice, it's very, the viscosity of this is very thin. It's almost like jojoba oil. So if you wanted to use something besides jojoba oil, this one is used for if you have acne prone skin and you want an oil to help clear it up. Emu oil and hemp seed oil is very good for that. But I use this in my hair for it being lightweight. This is something that I could actually use on my straight hair as well. And I love that it comes in a dropper so you can kind of decide how much you want to use. And I would just take this, take it in my hands and rub it down, take it down the tresses. And it's going to minimize some of that frizz but it smells nice too. I want to talk about a deep conditioner that I used when I was before I straightened my hair. This is I went in with a protein treatment and then I went in with this. This is the Moroccan Gold Series treatment mask, intense care for dry and damaged hair. This is so good. 
like my hair was super soft and it was very smoothing to my hair that Ar argan oil is so good and oh my goodness this is so creamy i'm gonna leave a link down below i did get this from a fat fit fun but i wanted to try a different deep conditioner i used the reckon their uh, protein conditioner i don't even think they sell that anymore but if i find a link i will leave it down in the um down in the description box but this is so good so good if you have like extremely extremely dry hair if you're relaxed or you even um blow dry or if you do any type of heat styling to your hair this one is an amazing amazing and it feels so nourishing it has argan oil in it and it has keratin as well so you're getting that strengthening um mechanism in it but i really do enjoy this um this this is the moroccan gold series their intense hydration deep conditioner if you notice i will use so many deep conditioners in fall and winter so i really go hard in the paint when it comes to deep conditioners during this time of the year this is such a great edge tamer edge control i haven't found anything like this until now this is the first touchdown edge tamer now they have different ones they have a pink one which i really like a white one and then this is the orange this is the non-flaking tame frizz it holds up for 24 hours and it has a really nice scent it has argon and tea tree oil it looks like a wax but i really really like this it slicks down the edges without reverting the curl so i can use this i have it on my edges today but i use this also on my curly hair around the edges this is a really great slick down type of pomade i really do enjoy it and it does not um it does not revert the curl back that's the biggest thing for me when it comes to finding a really good um a good product this one also it says that um you can use it it's a perfect match for brazilian natural hair you can use it with synthetic or natural hair as well if you're wearing units or anything i have on some hair extensions today and um it i didn't use it within it but i love this is that i've been using this all weekend and restyling my hair and sometimes edge control is kind of crazy you can't like style it some different type of way if i have my hair down i've had it in a pony i've had it like in this up and down so this one allows it shifts and moves and you can actually easily you know brush it out of the hair i really do like this heat tamer and i picked it up from my beauty supply if i find it on line or on amazon i will leave it a link down below let's move on to something that i use actually in my hair and my body okay that is the smooth naturals i use their whip i love it for my twist outs but i also love it on my body same thing as the nourishing love spraying it on my body as a mist moisturizer and then putting on my lotion for some extra hydration but i really really do love this okay staying with body i love the nivea foaming oil i have y'all that's like beating a dead horse i love that product i will leave a link down below for my L'Occitane, $8 versus $48. Love the foaming oils. Love both of them. But right in right now, like everyday use, I'm using the foaming oil or I'm using the Nivea Care. Okay. I love those. And I also did a, a quick fire, a rapid fire empties. You can check out all my body products that I absolutely love in that video. And it's a special, a special one in there. Okay. Let's move on to skin. I love this Bioderma so much. Y'all, I started this a while ago, not too long ago, but y'all, I am killing this. I love this better than the pink top one. This one is their Hydrate, uh, the moisturizing makeup removing micellar, micellar my cell solution that's what they call it and this is the dehydrated sensitive skin one i love this one like five times better love it so much and i feel like in the fall and winter when you in the morning if you have dry skin and you just don't want to go in with a foaming that's going to strip this one picks up dirt that you even did not think that was there so 
even if you go in with a cleanser go in with this afterwards and it's going to pick up any dirt that you left around it i love using it around my edges because sometimes makeup residue and hair product residue is around the edges and sometimes if you don't get it really really well you can get breaks out breakouts around the forehead and around the perimeter of your head and on your neck you want to definitely take your cotton pad something like this that's going to pick up the dirt and that's what micellar waters do they actually attract the dirt to the cotton ball because you have the solution on it and it's amazing i'm just saying like, as the weather changes i like to bump up some skincare products these are not only anti-aging but they are also hydrating so the viscosity of these actually change as well and they're a bit thicker so if you have normal to dry uh, skin and you need something these are going to be really really good for you i feel like um i have like normal to dry skin i my skin is not sensitive but I do tend to get dry uh, around my mouth and sometimes on my cheek area. My T-zone stays pretty normal and my under eye, I really like to hydrate because um, I can get dry under eye um, quite a bit in the fall and winter. So this first product is the CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream by Sunday Riley. This is so good. It gives a nice glow to your skin. If you have oily skin, I would not recommend this unless you want to use this at night. But this is a really, really good moisturizer. It's going to give you that glow. I feel like I don't have to go in with a um, an aluminizing type of moisturizer when I use this. I really do enjoy it. It smells like straight up oranges, but it smells so good. And I have really been enjoying this. I picked this up from, I want to say, either a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy Glam Bag or something like that which when you get products like this it is worth the money but this smells so good and i have been killing this this will be gone probably before winter but i really do enjoy this i do couple my moisturizers i use serums and oils and the oils that i have been using i have two oils i've been using lately um this one i've been using for a while and i've talked about it this is the murad multivitamin infusion oil i love using this after my serum so i use i'm trying some serums so you're not going to see it in here but it is a fall essential the new ones that i have been using are from good molecules they have a hyaluronic acid i talked about it on instagram live but they have some really good um, serums that I'm trying. I don't want to go and recommend them for fall essentials just yet because I feel like I want to give you guys the deets and do a full review on those. But oils, y'all, we're back to oils. The other one is the Youth to the People. This one is the Maki and Acai Prickly Pear Goji Superberry and Hydrate and Glow Oil. This one's really good. This one is more... It's thinner, but even my oils get thicker. I use a thinner oil during the day and a thicker oil at night, but the multivitamin is really, really good. This one might be, uh, this one is more than half gone. I just started this one a few weeks ago, but I really do like it. This one is my daytime. This one is more so my night, but I really do enjoy these two oils for my face. And I've also been using this a little bit on my face. I wanted to try it because this is for uh, face body and hair so I wanted to try and see what I thought about it and I really do like it for my face too because it's thin and if you have acne you're gonna like the Sephora hemp seed one because it's supposed to help with purifying the skin moving into skin I follow my moisturizer after I do serum oil moisturizer and then the last skincare step is my SPF this is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer. I know there's a controversy uh, going on with them because they were sold to Shiseido. I don't know. Why did I mess up on that name? And a lot of people are like, oh, they're not cruelty free. Um, they're claiming that they still are. Y'all, this was before the launch, but I really do enjoy this. And um, this was before the launch or the announcement that uh, Shiseido was taking over Drunk Elephant. But I really enjoy Drunk Elephant products. This is SPF 30. I do use also uh, some other products. I've bumped up my skincare in the sense of I take my SPF on my decollete, my neck, and my face. This one is really good. It does leave a white cast. It it has, I think, 
uh, is it 20%? 20% zinc oxide. So this is one that will give you that white cast. Rub it in really well and just follow up with your foundation and, or you can mix it. But I really do like this. Sometimes I do mix it with my moisturizer, but as of late, I just been like putting it on and letting it be the last thing. And it's a bit thicker than most of my SPFs. And so I really enjoy that, especially around that time. I do feel like my skin is really protected. Two products by Pixie by Petra. This is the Glow Mist. Sometimes even before I go into skincare, I will spray this on my face or even after. I just have to be careful around my nose because I tend to get really oily around that time, you know. And I use this at night when I want to feel hydrated. I also use this at night. This is the Pixie by Petra hydrating milky mist this is so good i really enjoy these two and you can pick these up from the drugstore particularly target and i really like these this is the smashbox photo finish primerizer i have the hanger over rx but i want to go into this and um this is, has hyaluronic acid and uh, ne uh, um, neocytamide in it and those are things that i'm tending to look more into now that i am becoming a seasoned woman i'm i feel like 40 is like you know what i should know what i'm doing by now you know most of it at least or learning from a lot of my mistakes you know what i mean um but this is the veil cosmetics sunset light primer i really like this because it feels more like skincare like a moisturizer both of these and so going into you actually can't see where i am because it pumps from the bottom up so it leaves this way this has a pump and it goes down so these two are what I'm going to be using in the fall I have tried both of them and I do enjoy them let me know if you want a full review on anything that I'm talking about by the way I really enjoy a good powder light powder and I've been using this one all over my face this is the Giorgio Armani this is their let's see what is it? luminous silk compact dual use powder compact so i can use this by itself or i can use it um this foundation on top of another foundation i like to set my face with this i have it on my face right now i really do enjoy it it's very light and i don't look cakey um i have normal to dry skin and i hate cake face hate it i like more of a natural look even if when i wear makeup and i want to glam it up i don't like for my skin to look powdery i like real life look where you're like melissa your skin looks beautiful i like when people compliment me on my skin and not my makeup okay so this is what i have on today i really do enjoy it and it's a light flush i use a fluffy kabuki brush and i just press it in and then i buff it all over the face i really do enjoy a light powder this is the one that i'm loving right now in terms of bronzers, I have been loving the Marc Jacob. This is the Tantastic Omega Bronze. Now, I like this because it's more on the neutral side. And as the winter, fall and winter, my skin tends to go a little bit lighter because I do have a fall and winter shade and a spring and summer shade when it comes to bronzers and foundations. And this is just something that I really do enjoy. It gives me like it's not as orange okay and I thought that I did not like the warmth during the winter and fall um, I don't tend to like the more orangey ones I like to use more of the warm ones in spring and summer this one is like more neutral I really do enjoy it I also enjoy the NARS Laguna and I just picked up another one that I'm going to be trying but this is fall essentials this is stuff that I am using or have used and really enjoy okay let's move on to foundations because that is important to me foundations i tend to do a little cocktail it's not summer the here in california it's still kind of warm but it's starting you starting to feel kind of like the fall vibes i tend to take my estee lauder double wear which is a staple in the collection and then i take one of my luminous foundations like my laura mercier flawless lumiere this is uh, more of my summer shade but I don't want 
it to be so luminous I will mix these two and do a combo and I'll get more of a satin finish I really do like that a lot as you can tell my Estee, um, Estee Lauder Double Wear is more of my winter shade this is my summer shade I mix them together and I get my perfect shade right now so that's kind of like what I do I do it more for the finish rather than the color because I can like to me NARS Syracuse matches me pretty much all across the year I can just use a bronzer or I can use a powder that's lighter just to adjust it but that is like my perfect perfect shade also Too Faced Honey is another foundation that I love um, Smashbox the Studio Skin this is in 3.2 I will leave all of these down below and the Vibrancy Foundation by Josie Marin. I really like this. It has argan oil, so I'm getting that nourishment, but I don't want to look so like greasy. And I don't want to say greasy, but I don't want to look so like summer glow. I do want to change up the look and go. Um, I don't particularly like a matte finish. I like more of a natural radiant or a natural satin look. And so that gives me the mix. Moving on to blushes. I know I'm trying to rapid fire through these things, y'all. I love cream and liquid. I actually have on the Milk Makeup. Um, this is the Lip and Cheek. And this is in the shade Work. I actually have it on my cheek today. Um, I really do like this. Another item that I have not shown on camera lately is the NARS. This is the Dolce Vita. This is the liquid blush. I really do enjoy this and a little bit goes a long way with this. Be careful because it can leak. It's leaked on me before because this kind of twists off. But I really do enjoy this liquid blush. Cream and blood, cream and liquids I tend to like because they're more nourishing for my skin during the fall and winter because I tend to get more dried out. This is discontinued, but NARS still makes kind of like this formula. I know they had the palette, and this is the dual intensity blush in Ferber. I love this so much in fall, especially this shade here, that burgundy berry shades. Your berry shades are gonna look beautiful in the fall and winter. So I have those. Let's move on to lips and then we're going to do palettes. I have a lot of lips, y'all. Not me, but I have a lot of lip products. I like to switch them out. I do have fall and winter looks. And I will just discuss a few because I like brands. There are certain brands, but then there are also certain shades. Certain brands love everything minted. All things minted. Whether it's a cream or a matte love their lipsticks there are a lot of dupes to the nars audacious lipsticks i feel like as well as mac shades so if you want to dip and dive into those especially if you're a woman of color and you want a chocolate brown minted got you okay this is a shade that i really like i have it on my lips today this is from ysl this is in the shade 53 it is a rouge i want to say lip cream but it's a beautiful like brownish mauve shade and this is how it looks it's so beautiful i actually got my name engraved on it and i actually love the packaging so luxurious it's gonna look beautiful in your purse you're pulling it out applying it so i really like this i love minted lip glosses one of my favorite is sand nudes no sin nudes i'm sorry it's that beautiful like camel brown like this is a true brown but i really like using that i am a gloss girl all day long and I love buxom glosses. These are two berry ones. This is clear and this one is star. So I really like these. I like these especially when I am going to an event. Really enjoy these. This one is from Origins. This is in the shade Night Bloom. And let me show you. It gives you a tint of color but it's super hydrating and these are the ones that's made from a fruit pigment i really do enjoy this and the packaging is so pretty so that will be thrown in my purse during the fall which is essential i feel like like a tinted balm is very very beautiful also my pat mcgrath lipsticks this one is in omi 1995. i have these three my tom ford oh my goodness my i think that one's spanish rose am i i, I might be 
saying their name wrong. I'm going to share with you guys two more, but um, I love this one from from NARS. This is their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dolce Vita. It's more of like an orangey red, orangey pink kind of, I guess. And then also, I love this one from MAC. This is called So Me, and it is like a beautiful mauve shade. Like, oh my goodness. Also, Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks I really like. Stone and Sand are some of my favorite. Um, and it looks a lot like this shade, uh, So Me by MAC. This is their, um, this is their liquid lipsticks liquid this is their metro retro matte liquid lipsticks i really like those and i also my favorite lip gloss of all time is by mac and it's in the shade spite i've gone through one of these already this is a newer um lip gloss and i actually have another one of this and spice but spite is my favorite if you like anastasia sepia and you want it in gloss form this is really really nice let's hop into some face palettes minted i did a full review and, and these are melanin improved this is season one and two one for medium to tan and then i have the deep i love this palette okay i've talked about this in favorites video really nice packaging yes please palette i feel like it's a great year round this is the only one that i have that i haven't decluttered from color pop and the makeup shayla those are the only two that i have this one is staying around because of the color. Otherwise, because this there's no mirror, this would have been gone too. But um, I love this, and as you can tell, it is well loved. Okay, so in terms of discontinued, yes, I'm putting it in this video because I want you guys use your palettes, use what you already have. Go into your palettes and check and see what the tones are. If they're nice jewel tones deep tones those are perfect you can make pretty much any palette work but some of them because of when they were launched have more of an aesthetic of fall and winter to them the beauty aesthetic for fall and winter and the trends these are very jewel tone these are going to work in the fall and winter i am panning this one this is what i have on my eyes today anastasia does have single shadows i have morocco and fudge on my eyes and I have heirloom which is the purple and pink champagne in the corner so this one is one that I want to actually pan and um, really get some use out of but I've really been enjoying this palette I've been doing a couple of looks on my second channel the other one is Ma master by Mario palette look at the beautiful jewel tones this one is it screams fall and winter and I cannot wait to use Bronx which is this olive shade next my wanted palette from nars i need to get some more use out of that but look at these beautiful shades i know i can use them in the summer but i also can use them in the fall i also enjoyed the jaclyn hill palette i want to give uh some options but this one if you had to get one palette i would say for fall spring winter summer this one is the go-to. It has some beautiful greens. I want to use this color Enchanted so badly. Um, I wish I would have gotten it when, I think she has a mirror in it now, but I just taped the colors here. And um, yeah, I really enjoy this palette. Natasha Denona. Now I know this is the sun, Sunrise palette. Came out during summer, but let me tell you, I see so many fall looks in this as well. Okay, I know she just came out with her Metropolis palette, but these tones over here, my eye is so drawn to this area that I can definitely see not only summer, but I can see fall. All you have to do is, you know, put this on the lid and throw like a darker in the outer corner or even in the crease. And this definitely could be a fall look. So I want to get some use out of this, but I really have been enjoying this. I don't think I've ever told you guys that, but I really, I'm so glad I got this palette. I like fall scarves and everything, but I have been loving these boots and I've been getting so many compliments on these boots, you guys. These are from Target, <laughs> but these actually remind me of some, um, what is that, McQueen boots that I've seen. I love the detail. If you notice the studs around the toe, around the foot, um, I love these. I love the buckles. It has a zipper on the side. Yes, I really enjoy these boots. I feel like boots are essential 
check out Target y'all don't shortchange Target because I've gotten quite a few boots from there really do enjoy it they're durable too I've had them since last season but I have like pulled these out and have been wearing them non-stop and also my candles I actually just did a fall candle haul non Bath and Body Works I am going to get um, pecan waffles and mar probably marshmallow fireside but those are the only ones that I really like really really like from Bath and Body Works I might try a few more but I love DW Home if you have not tried them check out your your home goods your TJ Maxx that one that is burning is pumpkin donut I also have pumpkin and bourbon and then I also have the firewood apple really really enjoy those i have talked about those i think in a haul just recently on my channel so you definitely want to check that out if it's up if it's not i would definitely will leave a link so you guys can check it out over yes, here yes that is everything that i want to talk about and share with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe before you leave i would love for you guys to be a part of the family because the tribe is live over here i'll see you in the next video bye guys